Today I'm on the campus of Amherst College in Amherst, Mass, and uh, the tour guide today was telling us about the wonders of the open curriculum here at Amherst, and she just loved the fact that she didn't have to uh, take any particular prescribed courses in order to graduate. She needed to take some courses in her major in order to finish the major, but beyond that there are no requirements at Amherst. You can take anything and everything you want. Um, you do have a freshman seminar requirement, but the topics are really, really diverse. Uh, there's no writing requirement, there are no distribution requirements. This idea of the open curriculum is still relatively common at a lot of private universities in the United States. It's a holdover from the 1960s revolt against the, the um, structures of liberal arts education at the time, you know, the idea that there was there was a white western canon of works that we ought to study, um, that the old dead white men uh, used to hand down to us, that we had to, that we, as in order to be educated, we needed to study the classics and we needed to study all the, the, uh, the basic texts of western civilization. Well, in the 1960s that was all thrown out and it was very, very common on campuses to, to get rid of that. Uh, interestingly, when I was up at uh, Marlboro in Bennington, they have a different approach to this same kind of self-driven education. Bennington and Marlboro require you to at least develop a very strong plan that unifies your academic experience while you are there. Now, anything can go there too. That you, as as I've said about it on a video for for Bennington, you can you can take uh, biochemistry and dance and somehow put them together, but somebody actually at Bennington and Marlboro is looking over your shoulder and making sure that that uh, choice that you make has some coherence to it, some, some connection. Here at Amherst and at many other colleges, you don't have to do any of that. You can just take whatever the heck you want, whatever the mood strikes you. Um, then there are other campuses, to be sure, that are much more structured, that may have div um, distributive requirements or things that you must take in certain areas or certain domains of knowledge in order to become what that campus believes is an educated person. So when you're looking at a college, when you're trying to decide which college is right for you, you do have to make a decision about what decisions you want to make and what decisions you want to make, be made for you. How much structure do you want to your curriculum? How much structure do you think you need? You know, most of us in high school, we have a lot of structure to our education, and then all of a sudden, it, all those constraints are removed. Um, is that a good thing for you? Is that something you really want? Or do you want something that's, that's, um, that is more structured? Or do you want the freedom to develop your own thing within a certain set of parameters and with a certain amount of faculty guidance? Um, there's a wide variety of campuses, and this trip, just a few days here in uh, western Massachusetts and southern Vermont, has helped to really um, bring home the point that students do have choices in the academic programs they select.